Hi everyone, welcome to IGCSE Study Buddy, where you can revise chemistry topics from the Cambridge IGCSE syllabus. If you are enjoying our videos so far, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. In this video, you are going to learn part 1 of chapter 7, Acids, Bases and Salts. A small introduction of acids and bases. Acids are substances that release hydrogen ions when dissolved in water, resulting in a pH less than 7. It is these hydrogen ions that make the solution acidic. pH is a number that shows how acidic or basic a solution is. A pH of 7 is neutral, below 7 is acidic, and above 7 is basic. Example, nitric acid in aqueous solution dissociates into hydrogen ions and nitrate ions. This dissociation releases hydrogen ions into the solution, making it acidic. Bases are substances that release hydroxide ions when dissolved in water, resulting in a pH greater than 7. So, aqueous solutions of acids contain H plus ions and aqueous solutions of alkalis contain hydroxide ions. The characteristic properties of acids can be described in terms of their reactions with metals, bases and carbonates. Acids react with metals to produce a salt and hydrogen gas. Example, hydrochloric acid reacts with zinc metal to produce zinc chloride which is a salt and hydrogen gas. Acids react with bases to produce a salt and water, a reaction known as neutralization. A neutralization reaction is a chemical reaction between an acid and a base resulting in the formation of a salt and water. Example, sulfuric acid reacts with potassium hydroxide which is a base. The products are potassium sulfate which is a salt and water. Acids react with carbonates to produce a salt, water and carbon dioxide. Example, nitric acid reacts with calcium carbonate and the products are calcium nitrate, water and carbon dioxide. These are indicators commonly used in chemistry to determine whether a substance is acidic or basic by changing colour in response to pH. Litmus, thymolphthalene and methyl orange. Here are the colour changes that occur when acids and alkalis are added to these indicators. The effects of acids on these indicators are Acids turn blue litmus paper red Acids make thymolphthalene stay colourless and acids turn methyl orange red. The effects of alkalis on these indicators are Alkalis turn red litmus paper blue. Alkalis turn thymolphthalene blue. And alkalis turn methyl orange yellow. Now let's distinguish between bases and alkalis. Bases are usually oxides or hydroxides of metals. Examples include metal oxides like sodium oxide Na2O and metal hydroxides like sodium hydroxide NaOH. Alkalis specifically refer to bases that are soluble in water. All alkalis are bases 
but not all bases are alkalis unless they dissolve in water to produce hydroxide ions. It is these hydroxide ions that make the solution alkaline. Example Potassium Hydroxide Potassium hydroxide dissociates in water to form potassium ions and hydroxide ions. The characteristic properties of bases can be described in terms of their reactions with acids and ammonium salts. Bases react with acids to produce a salt and water. This is the same as what we discussed before. Example, sodium hydroxide reacts with hydrochloric acid to produce sodium chloride, which is a salt, and water. Bases react with ammonium salts to produce a salt, water, and ammonia gas. Example, potassium hydroxide, a base, reacts with ammonium sulfate, which is an ammonium salt, to give potassium sulfate, which is a salt, water, and ammonia gas. Acids give away protons or H plus ions and bases take in protons or H plus ions. So, acids are defined as proton donors and bases are defined as proton acceptors. An H plus ion is a proton because a hydrogen atom has one proton and one electron. When it loses the electron, only the proton is left. Therefore, when a hydrogen atom loses its one electron, it becomes an H plus ion, which is just a proton. Let's look at an example of an acid being a proton donor and a base being a proton acceptor. In this reaction, HCl donates a proton to NH3. NH3 accepts the proton and becomes NH4 plus or ammonium ion and Cl minus is the chloride ion. Next, strong and weak acids. A strong acid is an acid that completely dissociates in an aqueous solution, meaning all of its molecules break apart into ions. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid as shown by this symbol equation. You may notice its ions are completely broken down in aqueous solution indicated by the single arrow. A weak acid is an acid that only partially dissociates in an aqueous solution, meaning only some of its molecules break apart into ions. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid, as shown by this symbol equation. You may notice that this is a weak acid since the breakdown is not complete, as shown by the double arrow. Universal indicator is a substance that changes color to show how acidic or alkaline a solution is. It turns red, orange, or yellow in acids green in neutral solutions, and blue or purple in alkalis. The strength of an acid increases with the concentration of hydrogen ions, resulting in a lower pH. So, higher the hydrogen ion concentration, the stronger the acid, and lower the pH. Conversely, a higher concentration of hydroxide ions in a solution leads to a higher pH. So, higher the hydroxide concentration, the stronger the alkali, and higher the pH. To compare hydrogen ion concentration, neutrality, relative acidity, and relative alkalinity using universal indicator, 
add a drop into the substance to be tested and compare its color change to the pH color chart provided. This is how we will interpret the colors. So if it is neutral with a pH of 7, the solution turns green indicating equal concentrations of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions. If it is acidic with a pH of less than 7, the solution turns red to yellow. Lower pH values indicate higher hydrogen ion concentration. Closer to 0 means stronger acidity. If it is alkaline with a pH of more than 7, the solution turns blue to purple. Higher pH values indicate higher hydroxide ion concentration. Closer to 14 means stronger alkalinity. So using a universal indicator allows you to visually compare the acidity or alkalinity of different solutions and determine their pH. As discussed earlier, the neutralization reaction between an acid and an alkali produces water and a salt. Neutralization is represented by the following ionic equation. In this reaction, the acid provides hydrogen ions, the alkali provides hydroxide ions, when these ions combine, they form water, which is neutral. This reaction typically results in the formation of water and a salt, depending on the specific acid and alkali involved. The overall effect is to neutralize the acidic and basic properties, resulting in a neutral solution. That concludes Part 1 of Chapter 7, Acids, Bases and Salts. Are you enjoying our videos? Are they helping you? Here's a way you can show your appreciation and support our continued efforts. You may use YouTube Super Thanks to send us thanks. Hope this video helped you. Please share your thoughts and suggestions in the comments section. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to IGCSE Study Buddy for more revision videos. Bye bye.